you know, so Christopher, I think that I've known you. I, I met you for the first time in 2012 at the Salon du Chocolat in New York. You were on a stand and you had just introduced the Good and Evil Bar, which is the project that you were doing with both um, Eric Repair and um, Tony Bourdain. And then we've had an opportunity over the course of the ensuing years. Um, you were in, you were also on a trip to Peru during the Salon del Cacao y Chocolate and La Ruta del Cacao afterwards. I believe you were at the Academy of the Cacao then in Nicaragua one yeah. year. And then also you were at um, the Festival del uh, Chocolate in Tabasco and Villahermosa one year, where you were also a judge for the Concurso del Cacao. We're looking for the best cacao in uh, the state of Tabasco in Mexico. And, you know, I think what's interesting and what I would like you to talk about when we get together on Friday is that you have a much more class, you have a much, you have a classical background. I mean, you studied or you worked with people like Piero Marcolini and then Dender in Belgium and then Kopener in Germany. You come from this classic training when you opened up your business in the United States, you know, it started out as a confectionery business and that is where you've built your reputation. And, but you also have this connection going back at least to the work that you did with um, Eric and Tony on the Good and Evil Bar of interested in getting involved in making chocolate from the beans. And now at a clot in Pennsylvania, where you are, you are doing making chocolate from beans. And we have a bar here, and we will be tasting it, you know, during during the the interview on Friday. But you know, can you tell us a little bit about you know some of the struggle? If in fact there are a struggle, I mean, you're known for one thing. How does the industry, you know, see you? And you know, what's the challenge of being sort of like a conventional confectioner and the the what you're doing in terms of making chocolate and introducing bean to bar chocolate into your into your business? Right. I think the fun thing is we've kind of confused people. They're like, "What is a clot?" Is wait, are they making chocolate? No, they're not making chocolate. They are. Wait. So everyone's sort of you know. They're a little confused about what we do, which, and that's kind of fun. I mean, we're driven by what we're passionate about and what brings us, in, in, you know, reason to get up in the morning. So.